So we just dropped everything and we're headed out to Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Um, we've heard that border wall surveyors are already on site and in light of the recent Supreme Court ruling, very little stands in the way of, of ground being broken there and irreparable harm being done. We've been fighting border walls for years at the center, uh, but this time feels extremely personal to me. Uh, Oregon Pipe is a place, it's a place I fell in love with the Sonoran Desert. It's a place I used to work at with the National Park Service, um, and it really is the best remaining protected Sonoran Desert expanse anywhere in the world. So we just made it to the actual border in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Uh, this is the existing wall, which only stretches five miles into the monument. The new wall, which would be twice the height of this one, and uh, have 24-hour night lighting affixed to it, would stretch 30 miles, cutting the entire monument off from the landscape uh, across the border in Mexico. So we're in Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, right at the southern tip um, of the Oregon Pipe Cactus Wilderness. And this is Quito Baquito Spring, um, an incredibly rare desert spring that provides water for plants and animals um, all over this desert. Uh, just about 150 feet to our south is the U.S.-Mexico border. Um, and after last week's Supreme Court ruling, construction here is imminent and could begin as soon as this month. Construction of a border wall here would absolutely jeopardize the future of the spring. It could disturb the groundwater table and uh, ultimately cause the spring to run dry. And it would also deter wildlife from accessing this spring. Um, and this is the only source of water like this for many, many, many miles in the dry Sonoran Desert. This spring is also home to the only population of the Quito Baquito pupfish, um, an endangered tiny desert fish that doesn't live anywhere else in the world. Um, so any impacts that result from border wall construction here could make the difference between uh, survival um, or death for this fish. Um, it's also the only place where the Sonoita mud turtle lives anywhere in the U.S. We've heard from multiple sources that the Department of Homeland Security might actually drill wells along the border in order to suck up precious desert groundwater and mix concrete for the border wall. Groundwater here is extremely rare and it's already a resource that is in decline due to drought um, and extraction. If DHS drills any wells in the vicinity of this region, it could cause this spring to run dry um, and it could be the end for the Quito Paquito pupfish. The idea of drilling wells to suck up groundwater in a national park or a wildlife refuge seems outrageous, and it is, but the Department of Homeland Security has waived every relevant environmental law in order to rush this construction. Um, things that seem absolutely unheard of, absolutely preposterous, are now very real threats. Um, and because of that, places like Quito Baquito are now in jeopardy. After the recent Supreme Court ruling, construction of the border wall in Oregon Pipe is imminent there are already survey stakes in the ground. That's why we're filing an emergency injunction to stop construction of these walls before irreparable harm is done um, and a border wall rips through the heart of the Sonoran Desert in Arizona.